What's up guys, I'm George and this is Marvelous Statues, the show where we get to unbox and review some of the coolest statues and collectibles known to man. And on today's episode, I'm taking a look at the Iron Studios 1 10th scale Thanos statue, so stay tuned. Here's everything that comes in the box. So, looks like everything's wrapped up pretty nice and neat. We got, this could be like a pedestal of some kind. I like that it comes wrapped in plastic. There you go. Really nice detail. Nice paint. No key, wondering how that fits in. Okay, there's a little something else. Also no key. Again, pretty nice detail. Nice paint. All right. Thanos. Very big for a 110 scale. And again, he is a big guy. Nice detail. I like the paint application on it. Very cool. And this is solid. This is not plastic. All right? Looks like we got some batteries and kind of light, I think. Find out what that is in a second. Some clear resin flames. A little good. Some more clear resin flames. <coughs> and last flame. Still don't see how this all works together, but we'll figure it out. So it comes with a flashlight. I uh, don't know what the idea is behind that. I guess you could check it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put that to the side. Kind of cool. You can use it for uh, something else. But I almost thought there was a light-up feature, but I guess there isn't. Also, it's kind of weird with this light is that you got to take the batteries out, otherwise it keeps on working. So we will just leave that out. No light necessary. All right. So he's out. I'll take some pictures of him, get up close and personal, and show you guys all the detail that comes with this little guy. And then we'll do a little review. All right, guys. So he's unboxed and assembled. He's all right there. Pretty decent sized piece. So this one is the Thanos from the movie Infinity War. Now, if you guys haven't seen that movie already, then you should probably see it by now. It's a good movie. Um, so yeah, this is based on his portrayal by Josh Brolin, uh, and this is what he looks like in the movie. 
This is a 110 scale piece, like I stated earlier. So it's a smaller scale and it's about $150. So this falls in line right with our collecting on a budget segment. So these are the type of pieces you can get without breaking the bank. Um, the piece itself stands about, stands about uh, four, 13 and a half inches or so. 13 and a half inches tall, about, um, about nine and a half inches in depth and about seven inches wide. So it's fairly big for a 110 scale piece because of the base and it would still fit inside of a Detoff or Besta or anything else. What's cool about the Iron Studios 110 scale pieces is that they have several of them. So it makes it look like a diorama when you have them all set together. So you can have all of the different Avengers, you know, circling around Thanos and it looks like he's about to uh, go into battle with them. So. That's one of the things I do like about the Iron Studios line. Now, let's talk about this piece. So, it's $150. This is a resin statue, so when you pick it up, it does feel like it has some weight to it. I would say maybe in the line of 7 or 8 pounds, a little bit more than that, you know, for the size that, that's got some weight. So, fairly decent feel of quality when you, when you hold this piece. You got some areas of clear resin in the flames here where the, um, the meteors are coming down. And then everything else is just sculpted in regular regular resin. The only thing about the statue's assembly that doesn't make quite a bit of sense to me is that this second part of the base sits into like a shallow key onto the lower part of the base. And it doesn't give me an understanding as to why it connects that way. So I, I, I just don't understand that. I could have just made the base all in one piece because this does feel slightly bit loose at times. You know, I... I I almost like went to lift you almost want to lift it up from here and then they like comes right off like show you yeah see so i don't get it maybe maybe if you if you don't have the space to put it you could take it out and just display it with with this sec the second section but it just it seems like that it like, didn't make any sense to me uh they don't have a numbered edition on this so i don't know what if there is a numbered edition or how limited these pieces are so there was nothing on the bottom to let me know that the paint application on the base I think is done very well. Actually throughout the whole statue I think it's done pretty well for the most part. The only area where I had an issue was up here on the on the upper shoulder blades. There appeared to be like some residue of glue on there and it, it's given like a rough appeal to the rough uh, look to the what should be like a leather I think at the top here. I think that's what that's supposed to be anyway. So that's a, I think a little bit of a mess up in QC. Everything else though that I saw looked pretty clean. So there really wasn't any other issues. I uh, like the effect of it. It has nice uh, balance of like dynamic look to it. You know, so it gives you that feeling of energy when you see this piece, which I think is cool. It gives you his, you know, the feeling of Thanos' power with the gauntlet, which, uh, which I like a lot. So I think that's, that's done very well. I love the addition of the clear resin here. That's kind of cool. Would have been even neater if they could have figured out a way to put some kind of lighting effects in there. But I'm sure that would have probably increased the, the, the price of it. But still, that would have been kind of neat. You know, have maybe like some flickering lights coming from the meteors. I think that would have been kind of cool. So for a 110 scale piece, what I like about it is that there's some areas of texture. So like in the pants here, you have these lines that go in there that look really good. Same thing in the chest plate, you know. And then uh, the skin, the way they did there is they added like a paint texture to that. So it's not texture in the skin. But the way the paint's applied gives you the impression of the pores that you would see on the larger scale statues, which is really cool. I like that they added mud on the lower part of the boots to give you that effect that he's out there in battle. So it gives you some, some weathering uh, look to it. The boots aren't overly detailed. They're more or less smooth. There's some areas of folds in the sculpt that I think that has done very well. The gold areas have a nice sheen to it. So, you know, it takes in contrast against the matted areas of the rest of the suit. So I think that looks good and looks pretty accurate to what the costume looked like in the movie. So I think that's done very well. These lines here in his in his skin are sculpted in. So that looks really cool. The nails on the skin look good. You know, for being such a small statue, it does have a very nice paint job. I, I will say that. It, overall, I think the paint job's done very well aside from that mess up that they had. The gauntlet looks really cool. It actually has different shades in there. So it's not just gold. It almost looks like they added in the reflection in there. So you have some areas that are like like a feeling of wearing and, and battle that the gauntlet's been in. Uh, the gems don't light up. That would've been kind of cool if it did though. Felt like it should've, you know? How are you gonna have the gauntlet without light up features? 
<laughs> what? Excuse this interruption, but past me didn't know what now me knows. And now me knows what this light does. So if you saw my unboxing at the beginning, I didn't know what this light did. I was shining it around him. I didn't really understand what the purpose of this was. And that's because the statue, when it comes in the box, actually comes whole. Most statues that I've seen that have a part that's removable, you know, come separated in the box. This one didn't have that. So basically what happens is, is that you pop this arm off and then there's a slot right here and you put your flashlight into here and you activate your flashlight and then that will take and light up the gauntlet. And that's the idea behind it. The problem that I have with this is that on mine anyway, the batteries were actually activating the light with or without the switch and I couldn't get it to turn off, which was strange. So I think they killed my batteries prematurely. They're a special, very small battery. So that means I'm going to have to go like to probably like a watch store or something like that to go pick them up. It's not just like some AA batteries that you put in here, which that's another issue that I have with it. I'm not really feeling this idea of how they went about putting the lights on this piece. So now the way that I would display this statue more than likely is, you know, like this. So the lights are going to be hidden behind, you know, his hand. So you're not really going to see it. So it's not make or break for me. All right. Now, as far as the portrait goes, I think that thing, it looks great. I think they did a great job with it. He looks just like Josh Brolin did in the movie. He's got that very Thanos look to him. He's like gritting his teeth. He's in the midst of the battle. You know, he's about to like lay down all these meteors onto Iron Man. So I think it's fantastic. Love the sculpt on the chin. Like the way they did the brow and everything. There's a lot of detail in it. So I think that's fantastic. Just like in the arms, they translated the texture work and the paint all throughout that. So it's very uniform in that sense. So... It's awesome. I think I think overall for a budget piece, they did a very nice job on this. Aside from the issues that I had with the uh, glue that I felt was on the back, that's really the only aspect of it that I think was more of a QC problem. But everything else about it, I think, is really cool. So if you don't have that happen, you know, in your in yours, I think it's definitely something worth keeping, especially if you can gather all of the other uh, pieces that they have. Because there's there's quite a bit of them, so I think that that's really cool. So. Now that we got that squared out of the way, I'm going to take it back to pass me so we can close this video out. All right, guys, and that's it for the Iron Studios Thanos statue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Ding that bell to become part of Notification Squad. You can catch all of our videos at mcecentral.com. I'm going to be coming back at you with more reviews just like this one, so stay tuned for all of that. And until next time, guys, keep it marvelous.